All right, boys. What's up? We are live. All right. What is up, boys? Sup, Dylan. Sup, Vin. Sup, Logan. What's up, boys? Number, number, no, you weren't first, actually. First like. Nice, Brendan. Dylan was first. What's up, boys? Midterms tomorrow, bro. I'm freaking violent through all midterms. I'm going to get so triggered, bro. We, what's up, Will? F midterms. First time out. What? How are you? What's up, Edward? Whip? No. Alright, I'm gonna edit this thumbnail. Dab? No. Alright. What's up, boys? How are you, boys? 10 away from 500? Yeah, 10 away from 500, boys. Alright. We are better than Cincinnati. We should win this game. Like the effing stream. First person to say Matt Drews. What? What? Where is Matt Drews? I don't know. Boys, we got 83 votes in the poll. <laughs> to say Matt Drews. You, what? Whatever. Yo, boys, where is everyone at? Zach Moss, Trayvon Williams, Najee, Najee Harris. I saw Kelly. Hello. Good luck, Nick, in the game. Thanks. He's right under where the camera stops showing. <laughs> All right, boys. First home game of the year. Yo, Kelly, I've arrived. What's up, Ryan? Yo, Kelly, did you do the English thing? Because literally what I did was I, uh, um, is she still mod? Yeah, but he's on thin ice, so. But literally I stayed after school. Uh, I stayed after school with him, Kelly. And he literally just did it all for me. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Who are their best players? Punter, middle linebacker, and receiver. Alright. Matt Drews, how's life, my good man? <laughs> he turned the stream off. What? What, Dylan? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, they win the toss. Sup, Golden Tiger. I did. It was pretty easy. Yeah, I know. But I just stayed after school. And he literally just did everything for me. Like, he literally told me everything. 
Oh, get around him. What a return, boys. Is she still mod? Yes, but if he does any bull, any BS, I'm just going to unmod him. So. How are you? What's up, Connor? Cheater? That's not be me being a cheater, Kelly. That's me going for extra help. <laughs> what? Big return. What's up? Okay, yeah, what's up, Connor? Everyone shut up so I can watch the gameplay. Good luck with that, Brendan. My road to glory. I play for SMU. Nice. You said that 10,000 times. Well, yeah, because you said I cheated, which was just completely false. Oh, look at that blocking right there. I'm calling it because he cheated. He He's losing the game. What? I should protest this game since you all should be studying for your midterms. Okay, Matt Drews. You want to know my day so far before the stream, Matt Drews? Okay, this is what happened. School ended at 2. Okay, I went for extra help for my English midterm after school. Got home at 3. And I also went for extra help for math. Which also begins for everything else. So I went for extra help for my English midterm and math, which I have tomorrow. Um, so I got home at like 3.30. And then I studied math like pretty much until I had dinner and showered, which was an hour ago. So I studied for like 4 hours. So yeah. I am preparing for midterms, Matt Drews. You said if cheese is something, is it? Oh, okay. Sure, I guess. I have no test tomorrow. Lucky. What do you have periods one and two? Look at that dart right there. TD, James Prosh. I have no test Friday. I have one test every day. Jim's bed. Oh, okay. So you don't have to come in tomorrow? That's pretty dope. I have to come in every day, but I only have one test per day if you don't count an English essay as a test. Tomorrow I have my math my math test and English, English essay. Friday I have science. Uh, Tuesday I have Spanish and then... Uh, Wednesday, I have history. So, yeah. Sir, sure, cheese, at least you studied. Che is cheese in here? I have nothing Wednesday. You guys are lucky you have days where you have none. I mean, I'm happy I don't have two tests in one day, like two real tests in one day. So, I don't have to study for two tests at once. Oh, I missed that. Grand injability. <laughs> what? Yes, sack. We made a stop, boys. Let's go. They got their 94 overall punter. <laughs> Like the stream. He doesn't know how to say in indubility. Or what wait, what? What word is what we what word even is that? In Indu Oh, indubitally? Is that what it is? Indubitally. Hey monkey. Indubitally, yeah, that's what I that's what I said. Brent, Dylan, I'm going to bring the switch to tomorrow to school. <laughs> Ramen. Ramen has a switch? Oh my god, Vin! <laughs> oh, spun too early. In Indubitably. Yeah, that's what I said. What does that word even mean? Is it like some racial slur or some shit? Dude, he called me a monkey. Fine, whatever.
Ugh. All right, boys want a bomb. That dime right there. What a throw by Ben Hicks. You guys going to see the dogs tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow's the only day I have to, uh, I don't have a leave early. I have a leave early every single midterm day except for tomorrow. So I'm going to see the dogs. Dog goes in the gym. <laughs> Dude. Ben Hicks has improved so much. It's a fancy way of saying indeed. I'm saying yes, and yes, for sure, not in your head. <laughs> okay. Look at them, big ends. Look at what? What do you mean? Against what's your take on Jalen Hurts? I know you meant Jalen Hurts. Um, personally, I don't blame him. Fire him, I would transfer. But I mean, I think that Oklahoma was the best school for him. Because, I mean, I don't think he, like, I think he should definitely should have transferred. I just wish it wasn't Oklahoma, just because if he is to play us, bro, imagine that. All right, I'll take a field goal. But I think that he made the best decision that he could, which was to go to Oklahoma. Because, I mean, he's going to start. Um, yeah, he's going to start. He's... um. He's going to get, like, a whole year under his belt with his new arm, almost. He might be... <sighs> Edward, I'm literally going to freaking... Oh, what's up, Bo? But, yeah. I think it was the right decision. Um, shout out, what's up, Holman? Steven, stop harassing Matt Drews. He might not... St oh, no. He's, he's definitely going to start. Really? Who would start over him? Some freshmen they bring in? No. Jalen Hurts is a senior. He's definitely going to start. Mod. You think they haven't been recruiting to replace Kyler? I'm, I'm pretty sure if Jalen Hurts is transferring to Oklahoma, he's clearly going to get the job. He's definitely going to start. The, why would he transfer to a college where he wouldn't get the starting job? The backup transferred also. Oh. Yeah. What do you guys think about um, Tate Martell going to Miami? I really like that decision too. Miami's a good team and they have talent, but they've never really had good coaching. But this year, I think they'll have good coaching. Tate Martell? He's not trash, bro. He was like the number two QB in this class. No, the number three overall QB in his class. Bef behind uh, Justin Fields and Justin Fields and uh, Trevor Lawrence. He was number three. So I think it was the right the right move. Nick has a valid point on Hurts. Yeah. I mean, being an Alabama fan, it sucks to see him go. Because, I mean, he did so well for us. And then he just uh, he just got overtaken by Tua. Tay Martell is not a freshman. He is this week. He should have went to BC. <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, make that block. Get around him. Get around him. Oh. Gain of how, how many yards was that? Like 50? 
the fitness grand pacer test. <laughs> oh man, I was going through the uh, the files and watching some of those, and literally none of them were as funny as ours. <laughs> it's not a joke. Was he really gonna go to BC? Look at that dime right there. BC dominated Miami. Oof. He's an option QB. Still, he's good. Ugh. Can Missouri not lose the week before we play them? Please. I want to play like a number 12 team. Ugh, I swear to God, bro. It's too easy. It is too easy. This game is going to be boring too. Probably. <laughs> Just because my team is so, like, so good. Hi, sisters. What's up? No one timeout Axon. Please. If you timeout Axon, unless you have a reason for it. Oh, fuck. Bo, stop timing out Axon. Who disliked? Who disliked? Another double. Oh, let's go. Pick six. Oh, what just happened? My B, all right. BC does. <laughs> What's up, Bean? What's up, Mark? Just got a pick six, boys. Ten more subs. Ten more subs, boys, until we get to a 500. This game whack. <laughs> nah, it's just we're so good. A voice crack though. Oh god, did I have a voice crack? Oh shoot, did I just kick that out of bounds? Oh, I didn't. Alright. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we need to get BC to come back on the field. At least they put up a fight. <laughs> Matthews, we do not talk about BC like that, bro. You do not credit BC when Kelly is in the stream. Matthews, they are the only team that compete with Big N's SMU GOT team. Oh, get him. Oh, shoot, I accidentally pressed pause. Oof. Freaking get him, bro. Meow. <laughs> I want to take more tells about it. It made me cry. It was a bum. Okay, Kelly, stop. Remember yesterday when I said don't type in all caps? Oh, where were these shutouts last season? Last season, we weren't as good. Last year, we were like 84 and 84. This year, we're at 90 overall. So, yeah. Screen. Get there. Get there. Oh, damn. SMU 15-0. and 0. You can't go 15-0 and 0 in this game because this was before the playoff. But maybe 14 and 0. Or 13 and 1. We'll see. Oh, get him. Nice. All right. Get off me. What? How is SMU ranked? SM, SM, well, in like real life, they're not ranked. Obviously. Or how is SMU not ranked? Oh. We're, we're getting votes, though. Like, after week two, we had 83 votes. If they made it one more game, it would have had playoffs. Rip. Yeah, dude, exactly, bro. Literally, if they made an NCAA football 15 and then stopped, there would be a college football playoff. They're in a non-Power 5 conference, exactly. And that's why I want to move to the Big 12. If I do really well this year, then I'll move to the Big 12. It just matters how well we do against those good teams that we play against Missouri, Notre Dame, and if we make a BCS Bowl, whoever we play. Is that possible in this game? Yeah, you can do custom conferences in this game, and I can move us, I can move us to, the, uh, to the Big 12. 
How the F do you win with the Natty with no playoffs? You just have to make the top two. Yeah, you can change conferences for any team. Yeah, you can. Move to a better conference. Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do after this year, depending on how we do against Missouri, Notre Dame, and whoever we play in our bowl game. ACC, okay. This is what I'm going to say about the ACC. It's definitely better than the Big 12, Big East. <laughs> Big East is dead in football. Okay. Bro, how do you not pick that? You have to do it during the offseason? Yeah, I know. So, what my goals are for this year are to have to have a one loss season at like twelve and one or thirteen and one or just do something like that. Is there any chance you can be top two this season? I mean, yeah. If I beat Missouri and Notre Dame and go undefeated, then I could be, but it'll be hard. What was that about the ACC? Oh, so basically I don't I'm not going to join the ACC, okay? Cuz it's too far away from Texas. And I mean, I'd rather join the Big 12 than the uh than the ACC as my first Power 5 conference. Natty, son upon us. And literally the Big 12 is perfect for SMU. I mean, it's literally like really close to SMU. And yeah. Maybe I'll move to the ACC if I'm dominating the Big 12. Maybe. But that's like not a huge possibility. Definitely not moving to the ACC next year. Definitely not joining the SEC ever, uh, Connor. So. I'll donate five hundred dollars to take your <laughs> join the Big East, Brendan. There's no Big East. Oh, I had five hundred. <laughs> Oh, he almost caught that. Whoa, 500. That's also... What? That was not on the table. Throw it back for me. <laughs> no, bro. I'm not taking my pants off. Alright. Who am I going to hit on this play? They have man-to-man -man and then a deep safety. I'll just see which one's open. And that is A. No! What are you... Bro, what is that? That is so stupid, bro. How do you fumble? I've said it once, I'll say it again. Strip Fortnite. No one timeout Vaughn. But against what that mouth do? <laughs> How do you fumble that, bro? That's so stupid. With that, <laughs> oh, Vaughn is on another level. <laughs> Fortnite. I said I'll play Fortnite for 500 subs. Sort of ass in a circle. Yes, third and four. Against who's going to be in the Fortnite stream. I'll decide that during the actual stream. 908. Yeah, boys, can we get to 500 subs today? What are your top five conferences to join or in order, like the Power Five, which are like the best? What do you mean, Kelly?
We should all team together for memes. <laughs> In order. Do you mean overall or just this season? Because those are two completely different answers from me. Stream snipers. <laughs> Mod squad. Both. All right. I'll do this season first. This season, number five, Pac-12. Number four, ACC. Number three, Big 12. Number two, Big 10. Number one, SEC. Look at that dot. He's wide open. Overall, number one, SEC. Number two, ACC. Number three, Big Ten. Number four, Big Twelve. Number five, Pac Twelve. Bro, <laughs> Kelly, I just gave ACC normally number two. We are national champs. <laughs> rookie, bro, I'm not on rookie mode. Why do you keep putting in nuts? Touchdown, boys. Let's go. 30 to nothing. We are better than the Big 12 and maybe Big 10. Yeah, I said in general, I literally said that. But this season, no. Just no. You literally had two ranked teams. Dub. No one. Timeout X. Big 10 is number one. Okay. Can you explain to me how the Big 10 is number one when the SEC has seven ranked teams over the span of the year, they had like nine. No, I think it was ten. Hold on, let me think about this. Okay. In the West, five of the seven teams were ranked. In the East, uh, Georgia, Kentucky, Florida, Missouri. Yeah, literally over the span of the year, 10 of the 14 SEC teams were ranked. Somewhere somewhere during the year. Matt Drews, what is the capital of West Virginia? <laughs> Evan Graham, what's up, Evan Graham? Ooh, that. ACC number one, that's just not true. Sunbelt number one. Sun, the Sunbelt's literally the worst conference in the FBS. Get him. Oh. Is that my cousin? <laughs> Who? The wiener is Evan Graham. Is this for your homework? What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Georgia Tech number one. What? Bro, how did he break that tackle? She told me to hang out with better people. <laughs> You're a Georgia Tech fan? Oh, cool. Take your pants off for some, bro. <sighs> bro. Oh, just got the screen off. Damn. Third and four. Ramen out. <laughs> it's timed out. F. Okay, I swear to God, if you time out Axon. Yes, he dropped it. Let's go. Zach Allen, number one, the end. Maybe. Why does it like move him up? AJ like number one running back, but he's not even coming out for the draft. Zach Allen going first round, yeah. Boys, where do you think Kyler Murray is going to be drafted? Anthony Brown. 
got to get their emotions going because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. Oh. The SEC had seven ranked teams. The SEC had um eight ranked teams at once and ten all season. All season, well, yeah. The SEC had ten. Wait, why am I running it? Why? Why did I select a run play? He going to the Jaguars? They're trading up. I want the Giants to get him. To be honest. You know what? I'm gonna let the oh they call a timeout. BC was one of those teams. <laughs> yeah, and then what happened, Kelly? I can I'll literally um I'll literally name the SEC teams. Okay. Alabama was ranked, obviously. Oh, he almost caught it. Alabama was ranked. Um then, all right, in the SEC West, Alabama was ranked. Mississippi State was ranked. A&M was ranked. LSU was ranked. Auburn was ranked. Uh, yeah, that's it for the SEC West. Then the SEC East. Um, Georgia, Missouri, Kentucky, Florida, and South Carolina. Believe it or not, was actually ranked in Week 2. They were number 24 in week two. Is Josh Rosen going to get raid, traded? <laughs> they're they're going to stick with Josh Rosen. I would be I would be really surprised if the Cardinals change QBs. All we need to know is that the ACC beat the SEC in the only game that matters. Edward, you're literally just asking for a timeout. Eli yeah, Manning's the best quarterback of all time. I have proof. <laughs> Dude, Eli Manning's... Trash. I hate to admit it. He's just awful. What's happening to Odell? I don't think he's going to go anywhere. I mean, they just signed him to a contract. Why would they Why would they get rid of him? He might leave. To, he just signed a five-year deal. Browns fan here. <laughs> Remember the prehistoric times when Eli was good? Those were the days. Go, Browns. <laughs> Oh, now they're running a screen on a blitz. All right, we got him. A.B. to Browns. Yeah, A.B.'s going to the 49ers. I mean, it's obvious. Oh, my God. Bro, he follows. Yeah, he literally follows the 49ers. Mark, don't jump on the bandwagon. Now it's too late. <laughs> Short, no contact since week 17. Yeah, guaranteed he's not going to the 49ers. Sorry, bro. He's he's going to the 49ers. He he's definitely going to the 49ers. The Steelers will trade him for like first round picks because the 49ers have a lot of those. They could give him that. He said, "Go Browns." Why? Why would you time him out for saying that? Steelers need CBs. Literally, Tristan. I hate to tell you this, but the Steelers need to blow it up. All of our players are such like they have such bad egos, and literally, Steelers need to rebuild. Exactly. Every single one of their good players has such an awful ego. 
Giants need a completely new O-line. Not completely, but they need new O-linemen. Says the Jets fan. <laughs> Seeing Antonio Brown in a Browns jersey. <laughs> I mean, his last name is Brown. Damn, they stuff that. Blowout. I honestly expected a better fight from Cincinnati. Nate Soldier is ass. He's not ass. He's just overrated. Pass Nina, defense low key. Jets are going in the right direction. Never said they were good. Horrible game. Cheese. Make that catch. Ugh. Mark, I agree. Browns are going to the going to the Steelers. <laughs> Will Hernandez though, he's actually really good. Will Hernandez, I love his game. Oh, that was not a good read. I don't really care because we're up thirty-one and nothing. I threw that way too way too late, like really like way too late. Aaron Hernandez though, <laughs> Jets will find a way to screw it up like always. Yeah, I threw that way too early. Jesus. Two games today? No. Bro, I have to get sleep. I have a mid We have midterms tomorrow. Kelly, you know what? You are probably right. Yeah. He's too short. Okay, stop saying people are too short. Okay? That pisses me off. I don't know why. It just does. Baker Mayfield was the greatest QB of all time. Okay. Get him down. There you go. Kyler Murray is so ass. He's not ass, bro. Kyler Murray. He's going to be good. Think about him. I don't think his play style is going to last him that long. I mean, like... It's kind of like Lamar Jackson, but a much better thrower. How does he hold on to that? You can't name a better QB than Baker? Yes, I can. Drew Brees. Literally, this is a hot take. And I know you guys are going to be like, Oh my God, it's Tom Brady, it's Tom Brady, yeah, oh my God. But Drew Brees is the best quarterback in the league right now. I mean that it's just it's just true. Drew Brees is literally the best quarterback in the league. He'll never make an MLB team. Yes he will. Dude, he already got drafted. Tom Brady can eat my ass. Exactly, bro. That's true. Thank you, Mark. Ben Rossberg. Brady plays like a... <laughs> That's literally true, though, Dylan. He does play like that. He's, like, always whining about how he gets sacked. He's like, oh, my God. Bro. Oh, my God. I got hit from behind. That's such a penalty. I just don't like Tom Brady. What about Patrick Mahomes? I can't say he's the best quarterback in the league his, like, first real year. Zeke Elliott or James Conner. James Conner. Literally. Literally. James Conner is so underrated. It's not even funny. I, just, I love James Conner. He overcame cancer. And he's a star NFL running back. And um, top five running back. All right. I'll save my top five for running backs. Number one, Todd Gurley. Well, Baker's never made the playoffs. All right. Running backs, number one, Todd Gurley. Whew. Kareem Hunt's gone. That's actually kind of hard. Oh, look at that. Oh, Kareem Punt. Kareem Hunt, best punter. Low key. All right, number one, Todd Gurley. Number two, 
Alvin Kamara. Number three, Saquon. Who are some other good running backs? Uh... Oh yeah, Melvin Gordon's number four. I can't, I can't, I can't put Le'Veon in the top five. I mean, he's just, I, I just can't. If he played this year, obviously I'd put him in. Melvin Gordon, number four. AJ Dillon. I'm debating between um, James Conner and one other dude. Zeke is trash. Thank you, Kelly, bro. I hate, I hate Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, literally, he's my least, my least favorite player of all time. I mean, I hate to say that, but he's literally my least favorite player of all time. Sony Michelle, not top five. Nick Chubb, not top five. Uh, who are some other good running backs? Because he beat Bama? No. Because he's just an asshole. And, he, like, the whole thing last year about the suspensions. Just such BS. He's better than Baker. Sonny Michelle is low-key really good. He honestly is, but he's not top five. Um, who would be number five? Oh, number five for me is Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay. That's that's a hot take. Philip Lindsay, number five. But I mean he was just so pick pick oh Sonny Michelle is godly. Baker, Darnold, Jackson, Allen Rosen. Eh. Sure. He's underrated too, yeah. Philip Lindsay's trash, he's not trash. Nick Chubb. Trevor Lawrence is not 19. Yes, we made a stop. Chubb is better than Sony, no debate. Oh, that's actually that's actually a really hard decision. Who's better this year? Um, Sony Michelle or Nick Chubb? No, Philip Lindsay is ass. Dude, he's so good. Chubb or Sony? Michelle. Personally, I I would say Nick Chubb. Le'Veon. Face mask. Oh, did they call that on us? Oh, it's on them. Okay. I think Chubb was more consistent than Sonny. Sonny was hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? He only played the second half. What? Got decked. <laughs> Chubb had the longest run in Browns history. The Browns, the new Browns, have been a thing for like 20 years. So, of course, he's going to have the longest run. No, get the ball. Pats had no Pro Bowlers. <laughs> Wait, did they actually? Because the Pats are on the fall and go Browns. <laughs> Did the Patriots actually have no Pro Bowlers? That's hilarious if that's true. Did the Patriots actually have no Pro Bowlers? Can someone like... Here, I'm going to look that up. They had two. Oh, ankles. 
No, yes, Tom Brady and Gronk. Oh, Tom Brady and Stephon Gilmore. Sorry, I'm late, boys. What's up, Justin? William Green greets Brown of all time. Huh? He didn't deserve it, though. Andrew should have gotten it. No. Gronk is, and that's facts. He's not. He's just not as good as he used to. Touchdown. Let's go. 44 to 3. Brady's the GOAT until Baker wins 10 Super Bowls. <laughs> George Kittle's OP. Kelsey greater than Gronk. That is true, Mark. Dub? <laughs> George Kittle? Maybe, actually, I think he might be this year. Gronk is garbage this year. Dave Njoku's top. God, bro. You're just saying Browns players are good. Chiefs are, <laughs> Chiefs are gonna win. Joku is so underrated. He is really underrated. I just don't think he's like top five. Like really, Gronk doesn't have a limb left that hasn't had surgery. <laughs> That's low key true. Yeah, Njoku's pretty good. He's just not top five. Name five better right now. Travis Kelsey. George Kittle. Rob Gronkowski. Uh, Evan Ingram. No, Evan Ingram's not my top five. I'm, I just named five who are better. Zach Ertz. Oh, top five tight ends. All right, here are my top five tight ends. Zach Ertz. Travis Kelsey. Gronk, Tra uh, George Kittle, and then um, Greg Greg Olson always gets hurt though. Evan Ingram is better than David Njoku, but he's not in top five. Uh, who would be number five? Ingram is not better. Okay, can you not type in all caps, please? I'm literally going to time you out, Kelly. Legendary stiff arm. Jimmy Graham, no. Chris Herndon. Herndon. Uh, I'd say Eric Ebron was better this year than David Njoku. Delaney Walker. Didn't he retire? I thought he retired. Or he might. No, I think he got hurt. Kyle Rudolph. I wouldn't say he's top five, but he's pretty good. Yeah, Eric Ebron is better. Uh, I would say Greg Olson, but he got hurt. Oh, look at that. Wide open. Touchdown. 51. Ingram is in top 20. Shut up. Joku is easily top 5. No, he's not. Eric Ebron is be probably better than David Njoku. Yeah, he is. Big ends, Gronk or Gonzalez? Which Gonzalez? No, Kelly, probably like seven to six. Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed can't stay healthy. 
Tony Gonzalez. Okay, Axon, you just said Zach Ertz isn't in your top five tight ends. He played a lot. Yeah, I know who Tony Gonzalez is. He played for the Falcons, the Chiefs. He was, he had the single season like yards for tight end, I think. Axon, you literally you literally didn't have Zach Ertz in your top five tight ends. He's literally like the best tight end in the league. Swap Rudolph for Ertz. Zach Ertz is easily number one in my opinion. I forgot about him. All right, Olsen garbage. He's not. Ol Craig Olsen is not garbage. He just can't stay healthy. Alshon Jeffrey made a nice catch to win the game. <laughs> because give us your top five receivers. All right. Number one is gonna get a lot of is gonna get some questioning to it too. All right, receivers. Number one, DeAndre Hopkins. He's my number one. Number two, Antonio Brown. Okay. Number two is Antonio Brown. Um, am I still timed out? No one timed out. No one time out Yo-Yo. Okay, he's actually like a good guy. So stop. Hopkins definitely number one. No, he's a little. Bro, Hopkins is overrated. That's literally the most dumb thing I've ever heard. He's underrated and he's number one. That's literally the thing. <laughs> Do you know what? Oh God, I just completely missed that. Have you seen his uh? Have you seen DeAndre Hopkins' stats? Literally, he had Tom Savage. Literally, go look at his stats before DeAndre Hopkins comes. Okay, he had Tom Savage, Brock freaking Osweiler. Uh, who else did he have? He also had Ryan Fitzpatrick. Hopkins is one easy. Thank you, Yo Yo. Michael Thomas behind AB, yeah. All right, number one is um, DeAndre Hopkins. Number two is AB. Three, Michael Thomas. Four, Tyree Kill. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Keenan Allen, eh. Keenan Allen's really good though. Is a AB is a, yeah he literally is yeah exactly that's that's literally why he's the best he was the most underrated player in the league when he uh when he had like Tom Savage and stuff and he's like still really underrated Devonte Adams Pfft, no he's good but he's not top five uh yeah Adam Thielen is my number five. I'd say Adam Thielen is my number five. AB5, are you high? Dude, I said AB's number two. Begins with school duty. Going, Shut up, Edward. Okay. We get it, bro. You're a Clemson fan. You won the championship. Congrats. Allen overrated as hell. No, he's not, bro. Keenan Allen is underrated. Keenan Allen's so good. Adams is good, but the only... Runs team, so yeah. Diggs, Julio, Evans, AJ Green, all four of those guys, I wouldn't put in the top five. Diggs overrated this year. <laughs> Julio's definitely top five. Not after this year. This year was a really bad year from him. I'm just going to say that right now. It took him like, what, like 12 games to get a touchdown? That's just not good, bro. All five of those guys are inconsistent. That's not true. 
Julio took a step down. Yeah, exactly. Receivers is too hard. No. Nah. What number is Amari Cooper? He, I think he'd barely make the top 10 for me. You can make so many arguments. That's what's good about it, Kelly. Uh, ooh, I miss Juju. I say Juju's number six. Cooper, top five. Pff, no. Juju is number six. AJ Green, seven. Keenan Allen, eight. Julio, nine. Odell, ten. So, yeah. Mari Cooper's not top ten. This is my top ten receivers. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins at number one. Number two, A. Uh, A uh, oh my God, Antonio Brown. Number three, Michael Thomas. Uh, number four, number four, Tyree Kill. Number five, Adam Thielen. Number six, Juju. Number seven, Keenan Allen. Number eight, Julio. Number nine, Odell. Number ten, AJ Green. I just switched it, by the way. So I moved him down because I, I probably put him too early. Cooper six, bro, no. Juju kind of overrated. Eh, he, he is a little overrated, but I don't. I think he's top, he's number six. Facts, Kelly. What did Kelly say? Juju kind of over. Oh, that was Kelly. Because he said he's underrated, which is overrated. I think he is a little overrated, but I think he's number six. Did you just say Josh Adams? It's not Josh Adams. It's Jamal Adams, Tristan. We had 1,000 yards past five years. That's like... Yeah, but this year he didn't score a touchdown until like week 12. Oh, get decked. Y'all sleeping on Dez? <laughs> Dez Bryant isn't even like top 30 for me. Literally... L, yeah. Who had an awful year? Yeah, that's why I moved him down to eight. A lot of Juju's success was having AB double covered. Eh. I don't say. I'm kidding. He's not top fifty. He's dead. <laughs> F. Watch him get a Super Bowl ring. Just for signing with the Saints. Watch him get a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> Juju fumble. You can't use that against him saying that he's not a top six receiver and lost the season. <laughs> Juju is not is overrated not going. No, he's not. 59. Bro, we scored 59 points in back-to-back -back games, boy. I'm feeling good heading to this game against Missouri. I want to see Brady Breeze Super Bowl. That's what I predicted. I predicted the Saints to play the Patriots, but I don't think the Patriots are going to win. I just I just don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs. I mean, the Chiefs finally got over that curse. Um, oh, I get an upgrade on Sonny Dykes. That's nice. Why would you want to see Brady in another Super Bowl? Yeah, I don't want to see him in another Super Bowl. I just predicted him to go to another Super Bowl. Kelly Juju was the only player on the Steelers to admit his mistake and take responsibility for it. Axon, you're literally just stealing stuff from urinating tree. Axon, that's literally like half of what you talk about in sports. 
It's just what urinating tree says. I'm not even gonna lie. Should have beat the Saints. No, play another week. No, I'm not playing another week. Facts. Yo, yo, Pats are the most boring team to watch. Literally, facts, Dylan. Accent, does that make him good? It means he'll improve. <laughs> Steelers got the worst calls this year. That game against um the Saints, that was it. Those were there were a lot of bad calls. Talk rule. Okay, Zach, shut up. That this the Raiders should have won that game. I was saying the fumble shouldn't count against the man except in the Super Bowl. Then it means he's sorry. The most charter Chiefs fans, young teams. How did Missouri lose? That's so annoying. Ooh, Herb Street is going with SMU in the big game. Remove dislikes. I removed dislikes. All right, boys. Next week is the game. We are playing Missouri, who should not be number 23. They should be like number 14. So, yeah. False start winning kid out of six foot jump. That one. <laughs> I remember that. All right, I'm going to upgrade Sunny Dykes and then we will be out of here. Alright boys, thank you guys for showing up to the stream, um, I hope you guys can show up tomorrow at noon, boys, okay? The stream will be at noon tomorrow, because of midterms, so right when you get home, be ready for the big game against Mizzou, let's go. Alright, tomorrow's going to be a huge game, but, okay, we got a big game tomorrow. Let's get this dub tomorrow at noon. So show up tomorrow, boys. Can't make it, Pa. Love you. Why can't you go, Bo? Whatever. All right. Sorry, I can't make it. All right, Matt Drews, that's chill. I know you got work and stuff. That's fine, Matt Drews. Don't worry about it, bro. Yo, boys, here, actually, let's take a poll. When do you guys want the stream tomorrow? Noon, right after midterms, or 8.30? Boys, vote. Noon or 8.30? All right. Two. All right, most people want it at, uh, most people want it at 8.30. Yeah, okay. So 8.30 wins, so the stream tomorrow is actually going to be at 8.30. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for showing up. The stream will be at 8.30 tomorrow. Thank you guys. Um, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow at 8.30 because we got a big game. All right, see you guys.